What up YouTube, Doug here, TWT Bulls. We just got back from the cool pool and I cut all the kids out here chilling with Diego and Enzo. I was gonna say pool and I said cool. <laughs> they called me out on everything. But uh, look at these little studs hanging out. You guys can see Diego, not a care in the world. Look at little Enzo, the little flat face. I love the smash muzzles, the alien heads. These little Frenchies are awesome. They love running and playing and acting goofy with the kids. But uh, they also love being held and they just let the kids do anything with them. It's funny. So I was inside and I saw them out here chill and figured I'd come get some video. Look at Diego. He's, <laughs> he just becomes a stuffed animal when anybody holds him. It's hilarious. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. So we were just chilling. We really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, yeah, he is heavy. We're getting close. Remember guys, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, we're doing that puppy giveaway. So we're getting close. We're getting close. We appreciate you guys for commenting, for liking, for sharing our videos. We really do appreciate it. And I uh, can't thank you guys enough. So we'll keep the videos coming every Thursday. We'll keep the updates coming. We have a couple of Frenchie litters coming up. We have a bunch of females, Bunny and Frida, you know, coming in heat in their second heat soon. So we're going to take them to little dirty Diego. And we should have some Frenchie litters coming up. So once we have 50,000, I'll let you choose exotic bully or Frenchie. And we're going to do that puppy giveaway. We're real excited about it. Man, I love the flat faces and the alien heads. And for only being five and a half months, Enzo's, man, his head's going to be big when he's older. I like the tight skin he has on him. Beautiful headpiece. Beautiful. And look at little Dirty D. Oh, the little skin. walking rainbow. Two copies of blue. Two copies of cocoa. A copy of Merle. Look at his skin. I know that he's so shiny. The shiny reminds me of legend. But all right, guys, let's show you these puppies now. Oh, yeah, YouTube. What is so cool about that Merle pattern? I got to tell you guys, I think it looks awesome. It's just that full suited camo look. And talk about being like extra designer, having that wow factor. This pattern, this color really does it for me. And I used to be skeptical of Merles. I thought maybe it meant they were unhealthy or something was wrong with them. And then as I did research, I just found out, you know, most color genes, chocolate, blue, tan points, they're recessive genes and you have to have a copy from each parent. But Merle's a dominant gene. So if you breed to a Merle, every pup that gets that one copy will show Merle, you know? So it's not like, oh my, the parent was a Merle, so it carries Merle. That doesn't apply. It's either they get the copy and they show Merle or they don't in most cases. But I just think it has such a high-end designer look to it. And uh, I mean, size and structure alone, coming up on seven weeks and these pups are smaller than most two-week-olds. They're so tiny. So that to me, just their short back, their muscle, their bone thickness they got from Lexi. They're just fire. But when you add in that pattern, that color pattern, Man, I haven't seen studs like this. I've seen a lot of bullies, a lot of puppies, a lot of dogs, and uh, it takes big risks to get big rewards. And I tell you what, could that have clicked any harder? Could that pup be any more fire? Short back, muscled up. I mean, just watching them walk around, geez, they're so fire. So that's kind of why I like the Merles, is they're easy to produce. Your female doesn't have to carry any specific color you know and you can produce merles yourself you breed to one of these puppies when they're older every puppy you have has a 50 50 chance of having that merle pattern now if she carries blue or chocolate you can produce you know, you know blue merles lilac merles chocolate merles but even a fawn merle or a black merle it's still fire you know i just think these are so man they're just to me my really my vision you know really blowing out of the water what I thought was even possible look at the structure though look at the short back though it's just outrageous to me I'm just I sit here and I look at these puppies and I kind of just am shocked I'm stunned you know what I mean to be that tiny and thick and the colorful I just am stunned when I look at them I really am and camera does not show they're about half the size champ was at this age and I just can't even handle it. I really can't. So you guys will see them grow when they are five months old. I'm gonna take 10 early lock-ins on each boy on Habanero here, I'll take 10. And then on uh, Poblano here, I'll take 10. So I'll take 
10 on each when they're five months old, early lock-ins. And then I'll wait till a year old and really, you know, open up for stud at their full price. So that's my plan with these guys for those that were asking. If you've ever bought a female from us off of Legend or Champ, and you want to breed to one of these two, of course you can for a pup back because you got a female from us. So I think, man, I'll tell you what, having that bape and tug blood on the mom's side, the Frenchie on the dad's side, talk about cutting down the height, cutting down the back, keeping the tight skin and muscle, adding in the flashiest color. It's like a little bodybuilder. Look at that. Look at that. I just can't contain my excitement over these little pups gonna be seven weeks old and like smaller than a little kitten it's crazy but he's so stout absolutely crazy i love it so anyways guys you can tell i'm excited about these pups you'll probably see them you know you'll probably get sick of them as you see them grow that's how much i like these pups so <laughs> i appreciate you all all right guys the pups are going off to get their six week old uh vet checkup and first round of shots and the vet dewormer i mean any breeder can go buy that's a girl going to texas look at that split rope any breeder can buy the tractor supply shots and give their own shots but we really feel like you know when they get done by a vet they're chilled properly you know the vaccine hasn't gone bad and uh the new owners get a printout from a professional vet so their new vet can you know see what they've had and continue on with the shots when you just tell them I gave shots from Tractor Supply, to me it's less professional and uh, it's harder for the new owners to tell their vet, you know, when they take the pup, what it needs next. So we like getting them professionally done at the vet. And also it's good because the vet will check them for heart murmurs, they'll check their back legs, their patellas. They'll give them a good checkup. So six weeks old, going for a ride in the truck, trying to keep going to clean. see the vet, trying to keep them clean. You know how it is with little puppies. So uh, here they are. We have one going home next weekend, and then uh, the other two will be going home the weekend after that. So go into the vet, off for the vet ride. Man, they're looking good. So all right, Dad, have fun. <laughs> all right, YouTube, here we are. We have uh, from North Georgia, this little female Keisha here is gonna be being bred to Diego. So big shout out to this family for coming by. Look, Diego's like, it's hot. She's not in heat yet. I'm ready to go inside. <laughs> he never cooperating. Sorry about that. Dirty Diego always just does what he wants. But uh, what's what's the name of your female? And what's your son's name and the name of his program? It's um, Vida Patrona. And uh, her name is Keisha. Keisha, there you go. And uh, she has an Instagram page. Yeah, so Vida I'll post Patrona a la Francesa. Okay, awesome, awesome. So when they have puppies, we'll bring the puppies back out here and show them. I think we're gonna get some of the real flashy blue Merle colors, maybe some solid blues. I mean, I think we'll have a nice little rainbow, rainbow Frenchie later, Diego. Yay! Uh, we'll, we'll update the channel. I appreciate you guys for making the drive. She's a real thick, really nice female. Little Keisha, there she is. She's like, where am I? What's going on? <laughs> So yeah, it'll be going down and we'll, like I said, when they have the puppies, we'll meet up with them and we'll show you the uh, puppies they produce on video. It's hot out here, so I think they're both just trying to get in the shade. These Georgia summers, it gets hot. Look at Diego. <laughs> All right, thanks guys.